Hello everybody, welcome to Papaw's Projects. On this episode we are going to design an adapter mount so that I can put my LCD display that is made to mount on a 2020 square extrusion and adapt it so that it fits on my 40 millimeter round extrusion. So stick around. Okay, thank you very much for joining me and today we are going to go into Fusion 360 again and do a little more designing. Um, I have printed out an LCD case that I was going to use for my printer build but now that I've decided to use 40 millimeter round extrusion uh, the case that is designed to go on 2020 square extrusion with T-slots will no longer work and I don't want to waste all the filament that I used to print the case. So we're just going to make an adapter and uh, get a little more practice with Fusion and we're going to make that case work. So you can see it there in the side camera. I'll go ahead and bring it up on the big camera so you can see a closer look here. And as you can see it's mounted on a 2020 extrusion. It's just hanging there. That's my Ender 3. Um, I just mounted it on there for a test fit. It's not actually hooked up or doing anything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Fusion 360. But before I do go, let me ask that if you would, take the time and please click on the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. I would certainly appreciate your support. And if you'd like to receive notifications anytime I upload new content, just ring that bell. Alright, that being said, Let's move on and share the screen. Okay, so let's go into Fusion 360 and flatten it out. Now we need to create our profile. We've done this several times now, so it should be pretty easy. We're going to draw a circle from the radius point out. And we're going to call it 41 millimeters and we are going to do a second circle from the radius point out and we're going to call it 46 millimeters <clears throat> and that's going to be our tubing profile for the part that slides over the round extrusion and we need to create the locking lugs again you're going to do that by going here, go back uh, about five and a quarter over six and back to the ring. We'll do the same thing over here, now five and a quarter, six. back to the ring. Okay. <clears throat> now we've got a ring, we've got our lugs to lock it into the uh, T-slots. That'll prevent the display from sliding forward or backwards. Now we need to create a section for the display to bolt to simulate 2020 extrusion so we're gonna go out 23 and draw a line on 23 and there we go so there's our profile that part was easy no problem now let's stop the sketch and from there we need to select the pieces we want select this and this and this and this holding the shift key down and we need to extrude that let's go about 150 millimeters that's should be more than enough now we need to rotate it and get it back here in the center <clears throat> okay now 
We've rotated it. We need to basically put another piece of paper on it from this angle. So we're going to create a new sketch right there. And we need to put a couple holes in it. So it's 150 millimeters long. 75 is the center point. And we want it to be down 10. So let us put a couple more circles. And let's go from the center out. So 75, 100, that's 25. We need to go about 27 and a half. Let me scoot that down just a little bit and zoom in a little more. So there's down 10. And let's put a five millimeter hole in it. Um, let's do a four millimeter hole. Four millimeter hole. And enter. Enter. Okay. And let's scoot it up here. Same thing. We're going to come down 27 and a half. Let's do another hole, uh, circle. Come down 50. about there and four okay now let's zoom back out a little bit okay so now let's stop that sketch <clears throat> and we'll select I'm gonna have to zoom in a little let's select this circle maybe And there we go. And select that circle and shift select that circle. And let's extrude that negative. Three and say okay. Now we should have two holes in there. And we did. There's the holes. Okay, so now we need <clears throat> to make a place for a couple nuts to countersink in so that it doesn't get in the way of the uh, doesn't get in the way of the uh, extrusion passing through there. So let's do a offset plane. And let's offset that negative 23. Enter. And let's do polygon from the center out. Here I'm on the offset plane, which I should be. And 
four millimeter radius now I need to double check and see okay that worked and let's see if I can well let's just see if we can make another one manually I was gonna try to copy it but let's try it manually since we're only doing one more and four millimeters enter okay so now what we should have is two polygons on this plane and we do okay so with those selected let's extrude no let's not extrude dead let me try something else here let me try push pull and let me turn off the body a second this one and this one and let me pull them out turn the body back on okay and let's pull these out enough that I believe the nut will countersink in there should be good there 21 that looks good and click OK now let's see if we've got our countersunk we do hard to see there we have countersunk what is it six-sided holes there for the nut to slide into and round holes for the bolts to go through so that way the nuts will be countersunk into the plastic and they won't obstruct the tubing sliding through so we're looking pretty good I think that's it I think that's all we need on this one um, I think we're ready to I think we're ready to close it up and export this out all right so let's take and select our item and we'll just save it to a file by refinement and let's just save it to the desktop and let's call it play adapter is it ER or OR eh, I know what it is so we're gonna say save all right so there we go <clears throat> now all we have left to do is slice it and print it so let me go ahead and switch back and back here and I will pause the video here and I will print it and when it's done I will come back alright so 
we have printed it out it took several hours but we have a finished product I've already cleaned out the holes and all the support actually I didn't have any support material just cleaned out the holes from a little bit of stringing we have our part like we designed worked out good um, I've already taken and slid the screws in and put a nut on them and pulled the nut back into our countersink fit perfectly I have run into one snag and that snag is I do not have the right size screws <clears throat> so temporarily what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these screws these are 20 millimeters long what I need is 10 millimeters long so next time I'm in at Ace or somewhere I'll just pick up some 10 millimeter screws to go in there perfectly but until then I'm going to use these 20s and I just put a backing nut on there so we'll run it in 10 millimeters and then we'll lock this jam nut down just to give it a try okay so pretty straightforward the nuts are already in there uh, hopefully holes are going to line up looks like they do and we will just screw these in and they do they line up good so I did make it a little bit longer than it needed to be I probably should have measured that and made it exact but that's alright I've got some other ideas of some things that I may want to I may want to uh, attach other things to this adapter um, now I do see a little bit of a gap on the back but honestly I don't think that was I don't think that was an issue with my design on my adapter No. Okay, so here's, it's not a big deal. It's not an issue. It won't hurt anything. But if you notice, well, let's get over here in front of the camera. If you notice with this bolted up there, that, there we go. See that air gap underneath? That's because whoever designed this case on Thingiverse gave it some wiggle room I guess they made it 13 millimeters from the from the flat down to the extrusion I didn't notice that on the 2020 extrusion but I'm sure it was there so they made it 13 millimeters so it doesn't sit down on there tight but that's okay I'm still mounting it flat to flat so it will be solid as a rock it won't be a problem and I'm not going to reprint it for that little gap And run these screws in just enough to get through, but without an, without being able to hit the uh, extrusion. Like about right there, and then let's see if I can adjust these jam nuts down there for now. Let me get a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay.
All right, and there we go. Like I said, it'll look better when I get the right screws, but they'll stick out a little bit. But it should work. Let me see if I can uh, spin this other camera around so you can see it. Got it on. So there, let me see if I can get it a little bit closer. Okay. So that's one more piece of the puzzle. Now we'll have to move on to the next piece. We'll have to design and print the next part for the large format printer in the next video. Another success. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so we're going to call it quits here and before I go I have a couple things that I want to tell you about uh, first of all I want to show you Zyltec friend of mine D Dininger is uh, has negotiated a deal with Zyltec and he has gotten the 3d printing community a 15% discount code um, anybody that signs up for their newsletter and generates an account, the very first order you would get a 10% discount, but he has gotten them to give us a 15% discount code, and that is the code 3DPSC, which is going to be the name of his channel. Um, he has YouTube and Twitch channels, and he's getting ready to fire up and start making videos. So definitely check him out and keep an eye out for his videos. And we certainly appreciate the effort he's went into to get us this code. 15% uh, is a nice discount. And he tells me that uh, any orders over $75 are free shipping from Texas in the lower 48 states. So uh, he's going to continue to negotiate and see if he can get an increase on that. But for now, we'll, we'll be happy with the 15%. So... Thanks, D. I appreciate it, and I'm sure everyone else does too. Uh, second thing, before I go, I do want to ask again: Would please hit the subscribe button before you go and help my channel grow? I appreciate your support and I appreciate you showing up and going through this um, little video with me as I learn how to use Fusion 360. I know I made a couple mistakes and there was probably some things in there I could have done easier but I will get there eventually and I do feel like it's coming together pretty well. So thank you for joining me and I hope someone else got something from this video as well. Check back often and notify if you want notifications, click that bell 
and you'll get notified anytime I upload new content and I hope you're following along with this entire 3D printer build it's starting to pick up pace and come together pretty quick so hopefully we'll have this thing operating soon I will tell you all have a wonderful evening and thanks again for coming and I'll see you in the next video bye bye